How's it going guys? Sam from Mendeck Outdoors here. Today we're going to be doing a crawfish catch, clean, and cook. There's this little spillway slash creek thing we got right around near our house here. And uh, actually the other time I was there, I saw a crap ton of crawfish and uh, I was like, you know what? Maybe it's time for me to do a crawfish catch and cook. Um, I've had crawfish before, but I, it was like at a tailgate kind of thing where I didn't cook them. I'm going to be going out to this little spillway, like I said, and uh, I'm going to have to go buy some minnow traps or like crawfish traps or whatever, because unfortunately I did not have any here. So I have to go out and get some, and uh, I got hot dogs and whatnot to use for bait. So we're good on bait. I know I've caught crawfish before. Um, most of the time, usually you don't want to cook crawfish that you don't really know where they're coming out of. But, uh, I mean, because you don't really know what they carry, because they're, they're kind of iffy. They kind of, you know, sit in the mud and stuff. They're kind of gross. But anyway, I'm going to risk it, see if I can't find any around here. Um, I've seen a lot of this creek, like a lot, a lot. Like, I've seen, like, I not, not, not over-exaggerating or anything, but I've seen a lot, like over a hundreds and whatnot. We're going to go over there, see if we can't find any. But first, we have to stop at Shields. I'll see you guys there. Sheesh, boy, sorry. It's hot as all balls out right now. It's like... 80 degrees and really humid already it's pretty early in the morning but uh anyway we're here at shields and you go buy some uh whatchamacallit traps traps for the crawfish and uh, i might get two i don't really know but we're gonna go in here get some traps and uh, i'll see you guys inside been looking some time now for some traps can't find any but in the fishing section i think i'd be able to find them but they're just not here mm, this is interesting okay anyway we got, they got the goods here they got the guggen baits you guys are right now. I'm repping. Anyway, we gotta find these traps. Here's the traps, guys. They got a rectangular one. It's pretty beefy, honestly. So it, only has, it only has one entrance cell, so that's kind of interesting. And then they got the original, just kind of classic coned ones. And uh, I think I'm gonna go with one of these and one of these. See how it goes. I'm gonna go use these two, check out, and I'll see you guys at the spot. Well, I made it back to the house here, and uh, I was like halfway to the spot, and I was like, Oh shoot, I kinda need a rope or string or something to attach to the minnow trap. Got some paracord here I'm gonna use. I never really showed you guys a too much of a good look of our trap here, but here it is. It is a Fraybell rectangular minnow trap. I guess we got the small one. Um, no idea that's just like in Spanish or whatever. But uh, yeah, this is what we got. And um, there's only one entrance. Kinda almost looks like a rabbit trap. Anyway, there's one entrance. And uh, basically you put your meat in there or whatever you're using for bait and they swim right in that little rectangle as you guys can see. Let's try and figure this out. Okay, that doesn't. Hmm. Oh, shoot, okay. That's pretty simple. I'm pretty dumb. But anyway, here as you can tell is how you open it. Just like that. It's got that spring. Put your meat in there and then when you want to close it, I don't know how you close it. I guess you just kind of close it like this, slowly. Get it back in, and bam, now it's closed. Wait, close it all the way up here, and uh, now it doesn't slide. If you want to open it, you just take that off, and bam, there you go. But we're gonna keep that closed for now. Close that. I feel like that's not right. I feel like that's just too loose, you know? No, anyone? Um, you gotta clip it down here. I don't know. That just seems pretty loose. Anyway, this is a trap though. Probably get this plastic off here. It's ready to use. It's pretty simple. Pretty simple concept. Put your bait in there like I said. And uh, they just swim straight in through there and they can't get back out. Um, I'm gonna grab some hot dogs and like old meat that we have. And uh, I'm gonna grab this rope that we got. And I'll see you guys at the first spot. So I made it here to the first spot and uh, I decided to bring a rod. We got a little bit of rain this morning. And the spillway is usually pretty good right when we get rain. So uh, I was like, you know what, I'll bring the rod. I don't know what's tied on. It looks like I have a white mimic on right now. We're gonna go head over to the spillway, see if we can't catch anything. I'll see you guys there. I'm at the spot here, and uh, it looks pretty juicy. You know, spillway's over there. And this is all, all good still water. I've seen a lot of crawfish in here before. And I've seen like hundreds, I mean like literally hundreds. So when there isn't rain, or like when there isn't really moving water in here, it's really clear. And uh, last time I was here, oh, there's a bass right there. Okay, I see some bass. But anyway, when it's really clear, you can see all the way down to the bottom and you can see a whole bunch of crawfish. Literally, I'm not lying, hundreds of crawfish. So uh, I'm gonna drop down the trap with some bait and uh, I'll see you guys when we drop it down. I'm gonna cast a little bit first and see if I don't catch anything. I don't wanna spook the fish. 
I'm just playing the trap in, and uh, I'm gonna turn on the chest key. Ooh, he swirled right there. I'm gonna turn on the chest key, and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. How's it going? We got the white mimic here. Like I was saying, I've seen some fish swirling over here. I'm just gonna cast over yonder near that wall. It's not very deep here, but we're just gonna give it a good old dangle, see if we don't get bit. All right, enough of this. I'm gonna get the rig all set up here. Got the bait. We got our trap, we got the rope. Like I was showing you guys earlier, you just take that off, slide this open, and uh, here we got some bait. We got two stadium hot dogs, throw them in there. We got some leftover chicken or pork chops, whatever they are. Put that in a bag. We're gonna close this back up. Put that like that, and bam, now we're set. Now I'm sure you can use any kind of rope. I don't know where you're supposed to hook it up to. I'm gonna hook it up here. We'll just hook it right here. We're just gonna do a simple knot. It's gonna loop. It's gonna do a couple of these loops. Call it good. That shouldn't go anywhere. Now we're just gonna drop her over. Oh shoot, that could have been bad. Okay. Okay. This thing came undone. Anyway, we're just going to give her a dingle off the bridge here. Bam. Alright. She's in the water, if you guys couldn't tell. We got our rope here. We're just going to... We're not going to really tie her up. I don't think we need to tie her up. Now it's just a waiting game. We're just going to let her sit there for a little bit. Um, I'm going to go down and actually start fishing. Down in that little spillway here, just for a little bit. See if I don't catch anything. Make sure there aren't any creepy crawlers in my backpack. And uh, yeah, no, we're just gonna let that sit. Most of you guys know I do not like spiders. And um, well, I've been here a few times and there's been a lot of spiders every single time. So I'm just gonna run through it. Oh God, there's a hole. Hope I don't get murked by spiders. Ah, 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 okay. I, oh God, there's another hole, okay. Botch. Botch. Ow. Okay. I think I'm good. Okay. Made it to the spillway. Spider free, I think. I really hope so. Uh, I feel good. Okay. Anyway, like I was saying, I got this nook on. I'm casting these little creeks and stuff here. See if I don't get bit. This is all... I already saw something work it. But this is the only lure I brought with me. And uh, now it's not really exactly the greatest bass lure, but I've got a few fish on it. Ooh, I got absolutely destroyed in there. All right. Here we go. Here we go. That's not a bad fish, dude. Oh my. That's not a bad fish at all. Yeehoo! Shoo! Look at this guy. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. We're gonna flip them up here. Yeet. All right, chill out, bud. Shoo. Jeez, they're nice boys. Look at that bass. It's not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. That's what I'm talking about. Take him out. Oh golly. Nice, healthy fish. We're just gonna yass him back in the water here. There he goes, back in the water. And uh, these fish like this current because they just sit there and food come down. They just sit there with the mouth open and murk food. And that's basically what that bass did. He just sat there and waited for my, there we go, we got one. Got another fish, boys, look at that, second cast. What is this? Oh, it's another bass. It's kind of dwarfy looking though. Anyway, on the mimic again. Like I was saying, these fish will hold up in this tight water. He's pretty small, we'll get him back in the water. But like I was saying, they like to stay up in that current because it's, like, it's just a conveyor belt for food. They just sit there and they just wait for food comes down, they murk it. All right, well, I caught two bass, not bad. They weren't, the biggest but they weren't bad for this little spillway we're fishing the middle trap is still up there we're gonna let it sit for a couple hours and i'll be back but i'm gonna head back to my car head back to the house chill out for a little bit come back in an hour or two and see if we don't have anything so i just got back and uh, it's been like three hours i think it's been it's been three hours since i set the trap and uh there's a lot of crawfish in here like i was saying and i think i should have like eh, 10 or 12 right now i don't know i don't need too many to do a catch and cook I just want enough to do like try it, see how they taste, and it's just me. Austin and John are not here, unfortunately, 
so it's just me. But anyway, I'm gonna go check my trap, see if I got anything. Well, we made it to the trap, but look at that. Little bluegill swimming right there. I don't know if you guys can see or not, but there's our trap. Looks like there might be something in there. I see a couple bluegill hanging around it. Well, that is a good sign. I already see some stuff swimming around it. That's a good sign. I'm gonna go pull it up, see if we got anything. Alrighty, well, I got the chesty on, and uh, we're just gonna take our rope here to get it out of this. I wonder what we got. I'm kind of curious. I'm kind of feeling like we got a dozen, like I was saying. But, uh, let's reel this up. Oh, shoot. Okay. Shoot. Okay. I see something flop. Oh, God. Oh, God, boys. Oh, my. Oh, criminy. Oh, golly. You see that blue? Okay, we got bluegill and we got some crawfish. Wow. Okay. Um, honestly, I was not expecting to catch a bluegill. But I guess that's why it's a minnow trap, eh? Sheesh. I don't know if you guys can see in there or not, but we got a bluegill and some crawfish. Wow. Okay. 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 Chill out. Let's get this undone. Okay, let's take a look at you guys. Oh golly. Oh jeez. We got a lot of crawfish in there. Look at the okay, we got bluegill. Meat's still in there. Let's take our little bluegill buddy out without me getting pinched here. But look at that. Little bluegill. That's cool. That is freaking cool. We're gonna let him go. Back in the water he goes, but sheesh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got 10 crawfish in here. I said 12. Not bad. I see some king daddies in there. Like that guy in the back is massive. But these guys are just straight booling in here with the meat. Well, I guess we'll throw the meat back in the little creek here. Oh god, buddy tried to pinch me. Too slow. Ah! Scary. Ah! Damn, them pinchers are mean looking. Anyway, I'm gonna put this back on. I do not have a bucket or anything. That was kind of dumb of me, eh? Um, yeah, I don't really know what to do here. Okay, well, we got our crawfish. Um, I'm just gonna put them back in my bag, I guess. I don't really know what to do with them. We're gonna head back to the house. Well, we finally made it back to the house here, and uh, I got all the crawfish in a little bowl here. There they are. They're straight bullying in there. I took them from the trap back into here. And uh, the first step is you need to clean your crawfish because you don't know what kind of water they're living in. That water was kind of dirty, so I'm just gonna get some good rinsing. So all you wanna do is just do some running water, let it run for a little bit. And uh, you don't want them to float out, but uh, basically you want to get all the water. You just want to keep the water running. And yeah, we're just going to let them sit in there for about 10, 15 minutes. And we're going to change the water out and do the whole thing again. And uh, they should be cleaned. And then we're going to throw them in a boiling pot. So we got all of our crawfish all, what you call it, watered down or whatnot. And uh, we're just going to take the thing over here. We're just going to put it onto a we just want it to be boiling. Like I was saying, this is my first time ever doing crawfish, so I don't really have the proper materials for it. But uh, yeah, that's what we're rocking with our crawfish. We're gonna let that water boil, then we're gonna throw them in. Well, we got our water boiling, finally. We got our crawfish here. We're just gonna take them, dump them in there, and uh, bring it back to a boil. But anyway, we're just gonna let them sit in there. We've got some Cosmos seasoning here. Kind of Cajun style, we're just gonna dump it in. I don't know how much we need, but it looks like people cooking, we're using a lot. Yeah, we're just gonna bring it back to a boil and um, let them sit in there. Before I do anything else, I just wanna ask you guys, if you guys know any ways how to like cook crawfish, any different ways, how, if I'm doing anything wrong, which I'm sure I'm doing a lot of stuff wrong, leave a comment down below if you guys know, because I am almost positive I am doing a million things wrong right now. And uh, you crawfish people that know what you're doing are probably cringing pretty hard. But uh, yeah, just leave a comment down below. I would really appreciate it if you did. Well, it's been about 10 minutes now. Let's take a look at them and uh, let's see how they're doing. It's boiling pretty good, so I think we can turn that off. Um, let's scoop one up here. Oh, wow. Okay, um, yeah, they look done to me. They're pretty red. We're just going to fill it up with some ice here. And uh, we're just going to try and cool them down here. Scoop some. Dump it in there. Alright, that's all of them. Um, we're just going to let them sit in that 
ice water for just a little bit. Just cool them down. Oh my goodness, boys. That looks amazing. Anyway, look how red they are. They look pretty dang cool if you ask me. They look pretty tasty, not gonna lie. I haven't had crawfish in a long time. I'm pretty excited. I haven't had crawfish in a long time. I don't really remember how to eat them. But uh, I watched a YouTube video before this. Basically, I think you take this, you twist it, and then you pull it off, and bam. Look, if it focuses here, look at all that juiciness. And uh, this is all meat here. We're just gonna go in and suck it out and get a bite. Now that is good. That straight slaps, dude. Oh my, there's a lot of meat in there. I just need to dig it out. Mmm, that is good. It's like lobster, man. That is freaking dank, bro. That is good. All right, let me go in for another bite here. So we twist it, and we pull it off, and uh, get all that nastiness off there. But look at that. That's all juiciness. We're just going to go in for another bite, boys. Cheers. Mmm. Tastes like shrimp or anything else kind of. It's really good, really tasty. Um, I would definitely recommend it if you guys have never tried crawfish before. This is definitely an interesting way. And I mean, I'm sure if like a professional cook these, it would taste a lot better, but I am no professional by any means and I have really no idea what I'm doing. But for going out and going to a small little creek in town here and catching crawfish and cooking them like five minutes afterwards, I think it's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna finish mucking the rest of these and I'll see you guys after. Hoo wee boys, I just finished mucking all those crawfish. They were so good. I wanna go back out and do it again. So if you guys like the crawfish video, leave a like down below and leave a comment on how I should cook them or if I should do another video on crawfish. I'd be more than happy to do another crawfish video because they tasted amazing. So leave a comment down below if you guys have any video suggestions either or anything on how to cook crawfish or how to catch them, clean them, or what kind of seasonings to use, because I don't really know what I'm doing. But if I did anything wrong, just leave a comment down below. As you guys know, duck season is coming on its way. Um, we went scouting the other day and we saw a crap ton of teal, um, which should be pretty fun. Um, opener is this Sunday, so I'm hoping I can get a video out this Sunday of me shooting teal, and uh, I'm pretty excited. I feel like we'll get some teal, so uh, stay tuned for those videos. But anyway, thanks for watching today's video, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.